Greetings, Matt Carter here from uh, Night Cafe and uh, the Night Cafe Discord. Um, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do a video on um, prompt engineering. What it is, how it's done, basically. Um, and we'll be using Night Cafe. It's now easier and stable. It's much more difficult and coherent and artistic, but you can take what you learned from artistic and coherent over to stable. So we'll use stable. What we're going to do, we could come in here and just get a random prompt, or we can use some of the other tools we've got. Let's start with a, a cool character from an anime or something like that. So a male character from a sci-fi anime Mm, movie right so male character so what I want is let's 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 just put that into Google see what it comes up with oh I don't want a video I want an image right so <laughs> um, so yeah we can see what we're aiming for let's see how long it takes us to get to that using these settings everything at default apart from 16 I'll probably get a great um, result straight away so straight off the bat you know it's pretty good isn't it really um, let's see if we can jazz it up somewhat so using um, specific um, modifiers and whatnot to make it better so a male character from a sci-fi anime movie Right, so let's try and make it more spacey, more specific to um, a sci-fi anime um, artist, maybe. So let's go, um, I think I might already have something. See if we can find some manga. So I went the other route, because um, that's actually a great page, by the way. Um, you know, there's literally gazillions of them and you can click in, it'll take you in and tell you a bit about them, what they've done. But, you know, I'm just, all I want is a, a, a sci-fi uh, anime artist at the moment. So we've got a list of them here. Akira. <laughs> Why didn't I know that straight off the bat? I've used them loads of times. So let's use him. So we'll come in here. So a male character from a sci-fi anime movie. Uh, and we'll put by... But let's go in and see if we can jazz it up a little bit. A male character, futuristic clothing, spiky hair. Let's see if we can use the modifiers, that's what they're there for. Z brush and oh, just the one I'll do for the now. Uh, male character, futuristic clothing, spiky hair. Let's cut that out of there. Z brush. Um, a sci fi anime movie by. Right, okay, cool. Let's give that a go. Okay, so now it's gone mental. So we've got exactly what we asked for a male character, futuristic clothing, spiky hair, use Z, Z brush. So, it looks like a game character now, doesn't it? You could maybe use that for some sort of gaming character design or something like that. Um, it is pretty cool. However, let's see what else we can do because it's, you know, it's not up my street. It's pretty uninteresting to me. So, Z brush has probably caused a few problems there. I'm going to go depth of field. Um, uh, and I want maybe um, I'm going to use manga in here to try and get some um, you know manga comic type action manga intricate detail um, the background is a cityscape of Tokyo. Let's 
let's try that I am now going to make some changes I'm going to change the the uh, the seed and I'm going to change the sampling method and I might pop up the runtime so let's see what happens holy moly we've got some wicked results here look at that so what's happened there probably you know probably the fact that we told it we wanted the background that's a cityscape of Tokyo is pretty cool um, uh, the depth of field has given us the depth of field. Where's he gone then? And him. Um, and intricate detail. So those things have helped increase the animation somewhat. Now, I love that. The perspective's great. It's just, yeah, that, that's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, pretty good. Let's have a look. That's a belter. Not bad at all the city really really cool you know you could you could use these to build comics or something I don't know what's going on there um, that's a pretty cool one as well from the back I like how it's changed the perspective there that's pretty cool he's pretty awesome isn't he yeah he's pretty cool so yeah as you can see by adapting the prompt um, to fit whatever it is that you've got in your imagination You'll get more accurate. Remember, we're speaking. We're, we're speaking to a baby, basically. So remember that when you're doing the prompts. So let's see if we can just jazz it up some more. Okay, I've added some more words in as well, just to, so I've got IMAX, just to try and up the quality somewhat. Um, we'll pop them in here. Um, Let's put that at the beginning. Try that. Put a comma there. Delete that. And complex sci-fi. Oh, let's just leave it at the end there for the crack. But because I've started putting in city, because I put cityscape in, and I've um, put post-apocalyptic and basically I've changed it and the 35 millimeter camera wide angle shot I'm going to put it in a widescreen now stable diffusion duplicates stuff it doubles them up sometimes on widescreen because it's not but I'm hoping to take advantage of that here so um, let's see what happens right let's have a look and see uh, yeah we've got some epicness um, some craziness as well but um, it looks like so when I first started using stable diffusion you know let's say if that was just a normal picture there would be another one here because we've changed it into widescreen let's see if we can see any artifacts I don't think so you know that's pretty cool that's pretty good it's filled it out well nice that he's in the center um, yeah that's pretty good yeah, it's nice how it's filled it out with the cityscape really there there's some artifacts there look look see what's going on here so it's kind of got a wee bit thrown there and maybe in here but anyway as you can see if you keep adding to the prompt just keep trying to increase what it is that you're after keep what you know have a kind of definite idea and you know as you keep going you might end up with something pretty cool like this and of course we can enhance it and whatnot but yeah, that's basic. Um, uh, that's you know prompt engineering at its best. You don't need 17 pages of um, uh, text um, in stable diffusion. You can't anyway. There's a there's a restriction. But anyway, I hope that helped you um, helped you out. Remember check in the in the um, description for the video for the discount codes for Night Cafe. Um, and if you join the Discord, give me a shout. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Take it easy. See you soon. Tarry bye.